Welcome to Queen Deluxe. I'm Bronwyn, vintage enthusiast and sewing instructor. Today we are going to be sewing a 1950s bathing suit from this pattern up here. Gwen from Gwen's Shenanigans has started a collab for the people at Costube um, to make vintage inspired bathing suits. Some people are knitting, some people are sewing. I am sewing. Not much of a knitter. Let's do some vintage sewing. <laughs> This is the pattern I'm using. It's from 1957. It calls for a terry cloth for the capelet and uh, some, you know, cotton or something for the bathing suit. I have this vintage bark cloth in my collection my mom gave me. It's a large hunk. I should have enough for the bathing suit and maybe even an aloha shirt for my husband. I'm gonna put the cape on hold and we will work on just the bathing suit for this video. But the bathing suit is pretty straightforward, but I am going to take a look at some vintage examples, make sure that I'm doing things properly. So I have a couple of vintage swimsuits here, definitely from the 50s, and they're very similar to the pattern. Like my, they are short. Okay, this one is got the princess seams pretty much like this. I wanted to show you guys they have um, some of the things that happen on these. These are um, not homemade, they are definitely this one. And again, California, San Francisco, New York, and made in the USA. Um, so some of the features of this one, it has a nice band at the top, which I really do like. I feel like the um, tank, tank version over here is kind of simplified. Kind of goose it up a little bit, so I think I might do something like that. It has um, some of the stretch ruching at the sides, which I think is a good idea for movement and make it a little bit more comfortable. It has a full lining. It has um, the cotton on the cups with some boning, and then the rest of it is this knit like jersey um, that definitely stretches um, and is thin, um, so that's interesting. It also has this placket behind the zipper because um, it's a metal zipper, so that would really hurt if it gets stuck in your skin, so that's nice that it has a placket. It also has a bone that runs up the back of that placket and some hooks to um, get it, I guess, started. And then the lining, the stretch lining uh, hooks up to those ruching parts and the hem is faced just on the cotton section and then the lining has a little bit of a, like an elastic band around the leg. And I think that would work on mine, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. Here's my other example. This one is probably from the 60s. It has a little um, piping at the waistline there. Also has some built-in cups. Um, here's the label from Honolulu has more of the elastic section and ties that go across the back. This is one of my favorites. It's so cute on. I kind of have a bathing suit obsession. So there you are. So this bathing suit has a cotton lining and not a stretch lining, um, which I think I'm gonna go with um, for my swimsuit. It does have the same like faced off leg and the little under like cotton lining is also elasticized. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. So this pattern was pretty close to my measurements, so I just cut it out as is out of a mock-up fabric, which is, we're just testing the pattern to see how it fits. So I've marked all my darts, it's all cut out. Let's take it to the machine. So there's a side and a front. So now I'm going to sew up that center front seam all the way matching my notches. Okay, so I have my fronts together, pressed open. So now I'm going to put my side fronts on. I have it pinned. This is pretty curvy up here at the top. Uh, it has a, uh, some ease across the bust here. 
So I'm gonna put that going um, towards the feed dogs in my machine. Those guys that pull the fabric through. Um, hopefully the top will be pushed a little bit and the bottom will be eased in. So that's my plan. left open for the zipper or to pin this is really my mock-up so no zipper going in this so I'll pin this side this side's already pinned you see the shape that's already sort of starting to happen so I'm gonna sew those together and I'll meet you back here all right so I have the front and the back so I'm just gonna put the side seams together and the shoulder seams and I'll be ready to fit all right so I forgot to film me in the mock-up but I have it here and I'm going to show you just the alterations I did to the pattern and then I will cut it out of the fashion fabrics. So it's gonna have an underlining and a top fabric just like our period examples. And I will, let me show you what the alterations were. So hold on just a sec. So here is the little mock-up. So what I decided to do was for my short waist, I am gonna have to um, take it up this bunch, pretty much all the way around, a little bit more in the center back because I have a little bit of sway back. And then I decided that I'm gonna change the neckline here and fold down the uh, straps. So that ends up making either a strapless or I can add straps to it. I'm gonna kind of decide later, like the other ones. So that's, this is what that looks like. So here's my center back where it's a little, a little bit more than um, the side for my sway back. So you can see the, the curve happening. And then that just goes all the way across the middle. And then the top, basically I've folded those straps back and I've angled it up a little bit further and added a little bust on that um, side well, princess seam front. And that's what I've done. So it's not too extreme. I didn't have to like make a new pattern. I just adjusted the one out of the package. So I'm gonna cut this out of the fashion fabric and we'll start putting that together. Why yes, those are the tiger pants I made a couple weeks ago. I do wear everything that I make here on the channel. And I'm very excited to make this bathing suit and wear it this summer. So I'm gonna start off with the lining and making those darts like I did before. The lining I chose has a small bit of lycra in it. It stretches just like a wee little bit. So I thought that that would be a kind of flexible lining, kind of like the jersey that was in the one vintage example. Okay, so I have the start and I have sewn it on the fashion fabric and the lining and I pressed the inside dart up towards the top and the um, outer fabric dart down so that when they meet up together it'll be offsetting that bulk so we won't have everything going the same direction. And I decided I was gonna try to cheat and sew the bark cloth in this lighter color and it's okay for the darts, but when you pull it, you can start seeing that thread color. And I think I'd rather have it be dark. So I'm gonna have to switch colors. So that is the end of my assembly line. So I'll have to put the whole lining together and then I will put the fashion fabric outer layer together. I have the um, under the lining part on and I wanted to show it to you, but a little. I'm a little nervous. It's not that attractive because it's white. But here it goes. Okay, and no straps, so they're blowing. But I think it fits pretty well. I think I want to add a um, little bullet bra pad to really make that a thing. But I think the shorts parts look great and the waist fits nicely, so I think it's safe to move on. I will put some boning in, but yeesh, in white, thanks. Let's turn this off. All right, so I am putting a little casing in at the leg for some elastic, um, and 
I press one side a quarter of an inch and then I'm gonna uh, sew the casing at a half an inch. And I have my trusty desk, trusty little uh, seam gauge, it's one of my favorite tools. You can hardly tell where the half an inch line is anymore. <laughs> but. I did put last night my um, facings on here and it was the lighting was bad so it's not very hard. It is understitched and then hand sewn. So those are all done. Basically all that's left is the zipper and whatever treatment we're going to be doing on the top here. So I have made a little band that can be like two inch and end up like you know two inches so I have made some little clips here so what I'm gonna do is make like a little dart in here so it'll lie flat here and kind of stick out over the so I've li I lined this up so we have like the, the the point at the seam line and then whatever excess coming over I've clipped at the seam and then we're gonna do darts Okay, so I've taken it off, um, right sides together. This is my center front line. So my clips are here, and then this is the center of the fold. So I'm basically coming down to there, and then pivoting, and then coming across to here. And then when I flip it back out, it will end up in a V. folded bit on um, it's all ready to sew I'm just gonna like stay stitch it on and then we will do the lining uh, next Now I'm pinning right sides together from with the lining and the bathing suit, matching up all the seam allowances. And I changed my thread color to white on the top and navy blue on the bottom. So I'm grading that seam that I just sewed. And the white layer is the shortest, and then each layer of seam allowance gets a little bit longer as we go out. And now I'm just going to understitch all along the top. Understitching is catching the seam allowance to the lining layer, and it will make it flip, and we'll get this really nice crisp, uh, clip, clean, <laughs> crisp edge. Look at how pretty she is on the inside. Oh my gosh. So now I just need a zipper. So what I have done is overlocked the back uh, center seam together, the lining and the outer fabric. And I just did a small clip down here, right? Okay, so that that was allowing me to do that. And then the bottom, you know, the rest of the crotch is all finished off, okay? So it's just zipper time. Um, and I have that zipper tutorial, so I'm not gonna like film this whole boring zipper. Okay, I will be back. All right, I got my zipper in. I had this old sports zipper that has like a little pull tab on it, which I thought would be handy. Um, I have put a hook and eye at the top, but I did have like a little bit of that sticking out and I didn't hate it enough to have to redo the top of the zipper because the rest of it looks so nice. So I'm gonna do a cheesy trick. I got a Sharpie here. I am going to color that white lining that is sticking out. It's cheesy, I know, but you know, life will go on, okay? 
if you're anal retentive enough to like have this just like make you crazy, go ahead and redo the top of your zipper. Dude, do you. Okay, look at that. And we'll heat set that with the iron and we will be uh, ready for reveal. <laughs> Final thoughts. Uh, so, pattern said not to put any more boning than, um, well, it, said, it didn't say to use any boning, and I did put the boning over the bust, and I ended up putting a little tiny bit over the, on the side seams here to kind of hold it up. Um, I probably will add straps in the future, but it feels pretty good and comfortable to wear. I think I could even swim in it. Um, I do love a 1950s silhouette to make an older gal feel more covered up and still sexy. Um, so overall, I really like it. I think I will wear it to swim and hang out in this summer. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe, leave a comment. It really helps um, get my video out to other people hit all the buttons, do all the things. Love you guys. All right. Bye. See you next time. Oy, oy, oy. It's so loud. <laughs> Got trains and cars and chainsaws and all kinds of things. Jeez.